Heidi ho YouTubers. Our bathroom faucet died. Hot water won't shut off. I'm pretty sure it was put in in a major remodel the previous owners did of the house in 1973 so this thing is probably 38 years old. This part right here on the new one is uh, different on the new valve so I'm gonna have to make a new one up and I figured for your preps if you're gonna be doing any solar hot water or something like that you're gonna have to know how to solder copper pipe so I thought I'd show you. Okay so <coughs> I took some fairly careful measurements and I got a cut got a piece of pipe here I'm gonna cut it off this is called uh, type M or type L solid copper pipe rigid uh, M there is a little thinner walled or L I can't remember which to cut copper pipe you'll need one of these usually look like that in the hardware store a lot of you might have done this, but some might not have. So I thought I would show you. It's really a fairly simple process. You clamp your pipe cutter on there like that, give it a twist, spin it around the pipe several times, another twist. And just keep going until the pipe splits off. It's getting close. There we go. See? Now if you got burrs on the inside and you want to take those off, there's a little triangle piece in here like this. And you can stick that in there. And just run it around. Don't push too hard or you'll flare out the pipe and it won't fit in the fittings. Okay, I'll be back. I'm going to cut the other piece. Okay, so now I'm back. I've cut the other piece. i got two of them here and some fittings. I've got a male fitting. Uh, this is half inch male pipe thread. It's called. Replaces this piece here. And now I have a female fitting half inch female pipe thread that will replace this one but this one's also male on the old one the new valve takes a female so as the economic conditions worsen you might have to be doing your own plumbing this could come in handy then or maybe you want to do some uh, rain catchment just got a piece of sandpaper here they make brushes for the outside of the pipe, but I don't have them. So we're going to just wing it with some sandpaper. The key to this whole process is to get the pipe as clean as you possibly can. Nice and shiny. I don't know if you can see that. Can you tell the difference? Anyhow, take the elbow here. I do have a brush for the uh, inside fittings. This one's actually made for three quarter, but it'll work. We'll shove it in there hard. And you can brush that. Or you can take your pinky and get in there with the sandpaper. Like that. Get everything cleaned up real good. I'm going to do that, and I'll be back again. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I got both ends of my two little pieces pipe pieces of pipe cleaned off and all the insides of the fittings. Get rid of the sandpaper. You're gonna need what's called paste flux. Some gooey looking stuff. Um they give you little brushes with it, but it will eventually wear off your hands or wash off so put a little bit on the inside of all the fittings 
and the outside of the pipes. This stuff oxidizes the pipe, cleans it even better than the sandpaper. I think it pits it a little bit, gets it ready for the solder. So we just put it all together like this. Sometimes if you're going to do a solar hot water system for your preps or uh, some other situations it might be too hot for plastic pipe. Sometimes you just have to have copper. But uh, it's getting pretty expensive copper is so not that commodity prices are rising or anything. And there we go. We got it all fluxed up. And there we have it. Uh, similar. Okay. We use this old thing for a place to set it up on somehow. Sometimes you got to get a little creative in how you prop it up. Now comes the intimidating part of this whole process. When all your stuff falls down. Okay, there we go. The torch. Propane torch, map gas. It's really not that bad. Just don't stick your hand in the flame because it's about 1500, 2000 degrees. And you can start heating up your pipe. Like I say, this isn't a real rocket science or anything. See the tip of the blue flame there? That's the hottest part right there. So you want to put that in, put your heat on the fitting, not the pipe. Let me get my solder ready. I like to make a little hook out of my solder so I can reach. Pretty simple process. I've done a lot of it. It's a good thing to have a something to do your work on because we're going to drip some molten lead on the table here. And pretty soon it'll stop bubbling and stuff, and you'll be able to get the solder to flow. You just run a whole bunch in there. So you're pretty sure it went all the way around. But that flux and the heat back on the fitting, as you add the solder, the joint will actually suck it in all the way. And fill the whole space between the pipe fitting and the pipe. Okay, I'll move this around and do the rest of them and come back again. Alrighty, well, I got all the joints done, cleaned it up a little bit. If you're worried about glumps, if you want to make it pr look pretty like a union pipe fitter, you can wipe that stuff off while the solder's still molten, but pff, nobody's ever going to see this. It's behind the wall. Just inspect all your joints and make sure there's no big gaps down in there. There's the old one. There's the new one. So if you get into an economic situation where you can't hire a plumber or you got to solder some copper pipe for some of your preps projects, now you got an idea how the process works if you've never done it before. See you next time. Splish splash, I was taking a bath. Long about a Saturday night, yeah. Rub a dub dub, just relaxing in the tub. Thinking everything was alright. <laughs> Ironhead's crusty shorts. Well, I stepped out the tub, put my feet on the floor. Wrapped a towel around me, 
and I open the door and then splish splash I jump back in the bath well how was I to know there was a party going on there was a swishing and a splash and reeling with a feeling <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.